Hi everyone, this is Neil Reiters here, consultant, audiologist and director of ClearWax. Thank you for joining me in my latest video using the WaxGate. And here we have a patient with an extremely narrow ear canal with medially impacted soft sticky wax and keratin. It's in the, the latter third of the ear canal, what we call the pars interna. And I'm using our smallest size specular here, which has got a, a diameter of 3.5 millimeter. Um, that's the internal diameter. And it's really, really useful for cases such as this. And what's also advantageous is because we've got this opening, as you can see, between 11 o'clock and uh, almost three o'clock. And that allows for the instrument to be inserted via this slot. Otherwise, the instrument will have to be inserted through the center of the speculum, which naturally would obscure the view because it will be in the line of sight of the camera. So um, not only with this narrow and uh, smaller size speculum, I'll be able to enter such a small ear, but with that slot being present, we can also simultaneously visualize the earwax and the instrument. And you can just see how narrow that ear canal is. This is a standard zonal suction probe of outer diameter, I think about two millimeters. And there's very little space to navigate beyond that. So it's taking up much of the width of the, the ear canal. Now I've just inserted some medical grade olive oil spray just to help change the consistency. And I'm gonna slowly bring this away. There's a lot of skin adhesions uh, around the edge. So you can see I'm working on the anterior canal wall. This is the patient's right, sorry, left ear. So I'm just going to re-enter. I've just put some more drops in. I'm going to stretch, dilate, open the ear as much as we can. Now our normal size speculars is 4.25 millimeter, and for probably for the 90 or 95 percent of patients, we're able to use that. Uh, we have got the largest size speculum if required as well. So I'm just going to the base of the ear canal. And what's really good with the the wax scope in particular is and also an endoscope is your body posture. You're not having to um, lean forwards and crouch to look through the specular, um, which can sometimes be the case when you're using um, head worn microscopes. So it, it can, it's kind of a head forward position that is. And um, so I'm sat upright in a natural position. So ergonomically, um, it's good for my body posture. So bringing it through, that's the second bend just to the left. So we brought it from the depth of the ear canal to the second bend. Now we just got to navigate around this. So just, again, stretching open the, the ear. So not only is it narrow, it's quite twisty and bendy at the entrance where the first bend is. I'm just trying to wriggle this through. And past the second bend, the right, the first bend is just on the right hand side. So I'm just opening up the first bend now. It's just because of the consistency occasion, it's blocking the suction tube. So I'm going to stretch, dial it open the ear. There's a bit of soft wax just on the anterior canal. We're going to mop that up. And then we're going to get a good visual at the, in a moment with the eardrum. So just some keratin around the edge. So I'm just visualizing the eardrum now. I'm going to get it in focus. So you can see the hammer bone, the past flaccida, the light reflex. And there's the past tensor. This all looks well. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. And if you are a clinical ear care specialist interested in the wax scope, please do email info at clearwax.co.uk. Thank you. Bye.